Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have the Lego Mindstorms Bevel Bot. It's a really cool and easy build and I'm going to leave you the instructions and I'm even going to modify this to do something really cool. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Before we get to the video, remember, Monday is May the 4th. And remember, I'm going to be doing a special Star Wars May the 4th special. So remember to get your pictures, your video of your Star Wars, what do I call them? Your Star Wars creations. Try to get them to me. In fact, let's put a deadline on it because I have to get this video rolling pretty quick. Let's go ahead and make the deadline Saturday, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time to get those pictures or videos to me so I can put them into the video. If you guys don't, I guess it'll just be all my Star Wars creations, but I'd rather you guys, you know, have it be a collective thing. So remember, give me your Star Wars pictures or videos of your Star Wars creations. It can be EV3 or it can be, you know, just Lego things. Saturday, so this Saturday, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Get them to me, okay? All right, back to the video. Okay, guys, so let's check out this bevel bot. Um, as you can see, it is driven by a medium motor here. And basically, it's just one of those quick and easy, cool builds. So let's take a deeper look at it. Okay, everybody, let's check out this bevel bot here. So you can see the front wheels are just actually placed inside of the brick here. And they're just rotating. They're not attached to any motor. So the only thing that's driving this bevel bot here is this medium motor. Let me give you a closer shot at it. So you can see the gear configuration here. And that's basically it. Now this guy is going to run pretty slow because you can see how a smaller gear is um, turning this bigger gear. So it's obviously going to, hey, that'd be kind of cool to kind of mess with that gear configuration. But anyway, you can kind of tell that it's going to make this guy go slow. And to make it go backwards, you would just change the direction of this medium motor. And yes, I know what you're thinking. This thing would not be able to spin or steer. You're correct because it's just this medium motor here. That'd be kind of awesome if we could get a second medium motor down here. Ooh, do you see how I'm kind of opening up a Bevel Bot 2 video? But anyway, just for today's video, you can just see how this one medium motor is not going to allow this guy to turn. But every time I kind of make a observation I kind of open up the possibility of you know different ways we can turn this bot into something else well as you can see I modified my bubble bot here a little bit normally this medium motor would have been right here at the end of this uh, white beam I extended it because I wanted to see if my bubble bot here this modified bubble bot could go downstairs so I'm going to try this out. Okay, guys. So again, I'm going to leave you the link in the description for this bevel bot. Super easy. I was shocked how quick it was to make this thing. And if you can try it, if you live near stairs, uh, I wouldn't try it maybe on concrete stairs, but if you have carpeted stairs, it was definitely cool. You will have to be careful about these front wheels because, you know, because they're allowed to just rotate freely, 
sometimes they have a tendency to come off so just watch that part too but anyway the bevel bot's super cool i really like it um check out the build um if you can get a chance really cool okay guys i am mr hino from machines lego robotics i'm out he's out He's out.